Well, remember this, one community in the Gotha area flooded for months last year, even without substantial rain in their immediate forecast. Well, now we're learning why the flooding occurred, according to engineers hired by the county. News 6's Clay Lapart breaks it down in a story you'll see only on News 6. It's a disaster. Mary Fernandez still makes mortgage payments on her empty Gotha home, even after nature moved in a year ago. I don't like to come here just because I do get very upset. It does affect me. County leaders recently spent $200,000 to investigate these bodies of water in West Orange County. A report meant to figure out why some homes, businesses, and even historical landmarks ended up underwater last year. Clearly design issues. Neighbors blamed recent developments and turnpike expansion. You got to make them do the right thing and correct it. However, that recently finished report tells a different story. It concluded the Gotha Lakes watershed has experienced flooding as a result of elevated lake levels during consecutive years of above normal rainfall. It goes on to suggest potential solutions, including building out lakes and ponds so they can hold more water, and even building a stormwater pump station nearby. Options that would cost the county millions and neighbors call unrealistic. That report was basically a manipulation of the truth. That's how I see it. News 6 reached out to the Orange County Mayor and the county commissioner who ordered the study. Both declined to talk for the story until after engineers present that report to county commissioners in two weeks. The teams have inspected all stormwater pump stations. However, ahead of Hurricane Isaias, Mayor Jerry Demings reassured residents about potential flooding in the future. I want the residents who live out around uh, the Gotha and the Lake Nally area to know that we too are concerned and we have been proactive in trying to address that. The risk is too great. Back in Gotha, time ran out on residents waiting for solutions. Definitive plans to file a lawsuit. Worries there every day. It doesn't go away, whether it's our dry season, wet season. You know, they're, they're not just houses to us either. These are our homes. In Gotha. We just got to keep continuing the fight. Clay Lepard, Getting Results, News 6.